that is what is triggering the snowball effect of the mental health crisis that I'm having right now. Damn, this is making my head hurt. I'm like, this is not who I want to be. And so I'm, I get over it very quickly. I was sitting down, I was watching a vlog and I just paused it and I'm like, God, listen, bro. I know that you will not give us more than we can manage, but I can't manage. Like, I'm, I can't. And I'm literally calling out to you right now because I cannot. Like, hello, I need, like, are you still there? Like, I need you. I need you right now more than ever. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting on the floor like Trisha Paytas, not the kitchen floor. If you know, you know, if you don't know, I don't know what to tell you. But um, I was not gonna vlog today at all because today is not a good mental health day. And I feel like it is such a touchy topic, like mental health is such a touchy topic. But honestly, today is just one of those days where I feel like I'm on the struggle bus just now. I was crying a little bit because a girl was struggling mentally, you know, and so. <laughs> I feel like the way how I'm talking about it right now, it sounds like I'm completely fine and like nothing was going on or like I'm taking it for a joke. But this is a coping mechanism for me in the sense where like I cope better when I, I'm laughing about something or like I'm joking about it to like kind of downplay where my emotions are at. But like today honestly just has not been the best mental health day. And it's a combination of like a lot of things and what's crazy is let me i feel like the angle is bad and everything is just bad let's let's fix it because you know this is serious today just has not been the best day in terms of like my mental health and here's how that works i thrive off of productivity and i feel like i've said it on here before so if like you're you've been on my channel for a very long time then you know that you know i am at my best mentally when i'm very productive you know, and so being home for an extended period really messes with my mental health because I I love a routine, but I hate a routine at the same time. I love a good routine in terms of like a structure to my day where I know that Monday to Friday I'm going to be waking up and I'm going to be going to work and you know what I mean? As opposed to like having a routine of knowing that I'm only going to be working two or three days a week and then the rest of the days I have off and as much as I like being home because I enjoy my living room and stuff like that I don't like being home that much like I need to be out of here more often you know and I feel like it's crazy because here and there I will like lightly about like oh my gosh I just want to be home and I just want to lay down and I just want to be want to sleep but like not for four days you know what I mean like that's that's not it for me and so um I've been struggling where that's concerned and I was talking to my sister earlier and she's like yo where have you been for the last couple of days? Maybe it's like two or three days to be completely honest. Let me see. Now that I'm, and it's crazy because she texted me yesterday and I didn't respond and, it, and and it's one thing. Like my sister and I have been on the best terms in the sibling relationship that we shared these last couple of years because you know, we're older and we're able to relate to each other more. And so we check on each other. And if it's been a couple of days, like she will message me trying to find out what's going on. So I spoke to her on Thursday. Today is Monday. She messaged me yesterday. And I didn't reply. I think I forgot because I saw the message and I just forgot. And she messaged me and she's like, yo, where the you been? <laughs> and I'm just laughing. She's like, yo, you got me out here feeling neglected. And I sent her a voice message pretty much saying to her that, listen, bro, I've been over here managing my anxiety attacks and like just figuring out, figuring out what I'm doing mentally. And she was pretty much saying that, um... She was asking what I'm doing to get out of a out of the mental rut. Let me play the voice message that I sent her. I've just been here casually struggling in silence, around, being depressed, anxiety, and not good mental health days. <laughs> so I've been struggling mentally. Boop. And that is so funny because there was this reel on Instagram of the girl saying, she was saying something like, <laughs> I'm so sorry that I've been acting weird for the past several months. <laughs> I've been struggling mentally. <laughs> oh, and for me, I don't act weird or anything. Like I'm still active and I'm still there. And like, if you hit me up, like I'm still so, so present because like, I'm like that, you know, I like 
being there for the people who are important to me always and so I'm always there for you but I will be there for you and I will be struggling mentally too and you know I just need to figure it out and like come up with a system or whatever which sometimes I do but other times like I just don't and like I'm struggling for a minute to figure it out and I remember just now like earlier I was sitting down I was watching a vlog and I just paused it and I'm like god listen bro I know that you will not give us more than we can manage but I can't manage like I'm I can't and I'm literally calling out to you right now because I cannot like hello I need like are you still there like I need you I need you right now more than ever. I feel like, honestly, I've been in this country for five years. Yesterday made five years since I've been here. And I feel like being here in this country is the most that I've gone through in my entire life. And it might mean that it's because most of my adult life, I've been here. You know, I've been here for five years. That's five years as an adult. And I did struggle when I was back home because I was running a business for four years and I was away from family and it was just me and my daughter. And I struggled, but I struggled differently. I never had anxiety attacks back then, and or at least I didn't know what it was, but the, ma the magnitude of anxiety attacks that I've had here, completely different. Completely different. It's like a category five earthquake. That's the worst category, right? Let me Google that real quick. What is the worst category? Hurricane. Hurricane. I said earthquake. Hurricane. Category 5. Yeah. So, like, I feel like... the and, and it wasn't, like, completely the last five years. It was maybe, like, the last three years. I felt like I was just going through a continuous cycle of a Category 5 hurricane. That shit has to be rough. And you know what a Category 5 hurricane, I don't know if you guys have experienced hurricanes before, but I feel like this is a good analogy. And, and like, in like hurricanes and stuff like that, you have moments where it's like very calm. It's still, and then it starts up again. And I feel like that's been the cycle for like the last three years. And like I've been trying to manage it. And I feel like I've been doing pretty, pretty damn decent with managing it. But gosh, gosh. And I'm glad too that I'm as strong as I am mentally where like I'm literally not down in the dumps like I have those days where I'm laying on the couch naked and I'm crying and that sounds dramatic but it's literally true and then I cry for 45 seconds and then I'm over it because I'm like damn this is making my head hurt and like this is not who I want to be and so I'm, I get over it very quickly but I'm still struggling mentally and sometimes this happens like once every couple of months sometimes that happens well, yeah, it's been once every couple of months since I've been experiencing it. Like, I've never been in a state where I've been crying for days and days and days behind each other. I don't allow myself to get to that point. I feel like I'm all over the place here, but this is how anxiety and depression works, sweetie. You're all over the place. You're not making sense at all, okay? I look crazy right now because, you know, I'm home and, and I'm going through shit and I don't feel like doing my hair. So, like, this is how we're looking. And so, to go back to the conversation with my sister, she was saying, what are you doing to get out of the mental rut? And I'm just like, well, yesterday I went on, a walk, on what feels like the longest walk of my life. Because, you know, walking really helps me because I'm outside. But let me read what I said to her. Yesterday I went on what, what felt like the longest walk of my life. And it felt really good to feel the breeze blowing behind my ears. And drying the sweat on my body as disgusting as that sounds because you know it was hot as hell and I was walking and I was sweating and then it was like a little windy and the breeze was drying the sweat on me and just being able to be outside and like feel like the breeze and like to feel what's going on to feel that I'm getting sweaty and like the breeze is drying the sweat I can no longer feel it running down on me and like you know that felt I was feeling that it felt like something Let me tell you something. This neighbor hates me. Whenever I'm home. I feel like that though. Talk to me nice or don't talk at all. If you talk to me crazy, it's over. All right, bro. That's a little white man. I never understand why you need to listen to music that loud. You still hear it anyways. You still feel it through your bones and shit anyways.
anyways, so I'm saying, you know, I was going through that with my sister and I was explaining it. I understand that I look crazy right now, but trust, I'm fine. So I was talking to my sister and I was telling her that that is what I did yesterday and, you know, that felt good. I felt really good going outside and like, so, and that was in the morning, like starting my day off with like a good little walk outside just to get some fresh air. Because I feel like being cooped up in the apartment does not help either because that is what is triggering the snowball effect of the mental health crisis that I'm having right now because I'm inside and like I'm just inside. You know, and so this morning, last night I made elaborate plans that I was going to start my day today by like, um, you know, waking up early and like going outside. But I went to bed at 4 a.m. because I was up watching Sex Life on Netflix. And so because I went to bed so late, I woke up late. And so I wasn't able to get up and go do that. And by the time that I woke up, it was kind of hot outside. So I changed my mind. So I didn't end up going outside on the walk. And I said I was going to compensate for that by doing an indoor workout. And that hasn't happened because I haven't been in the mood to do that. So I've just been in here, me and my mental health, just going through it. You know? And so, yeah. This is what a mental health day or a bad mental health day looks like for me. And I like to do things for myself to help me get out of these mental ruts. But, like, sometimes, too, you want to do something, but you're just not motivated enough to, like, get up and do it. And sometimes you have to allow yourself to be... To, to go through these days, you know, not to distract yourself because me going outside and going on a run is me distracting myself from like the crap storm of a day that I was having. And like today I'm just inside and I feel like it's important to like go through these moments to where you sit in it and go through it by yourself and like figure it out because that is essentially how you figure it out. But um, yeah, if you're having bad mental health days, girl, boy, honey, I don't know what you're going through. And that shit sucks. But, you know, we move. And I feel like that has been the one constant that has kept me going. We move. And you continue moving and going through the motions of life. Because, you know, the motions of life. You move. And you move and you move. And I feel like I don't know anything other than continuously moving. So all I know how to do is move. And so... If there's no other takeaway from this video that was all over the place, take away the fact that we move and you continue moving. Anyways, that's it and that's all because if I don't know anything else, this man went inside, but he's going to come back outside to either work on this little white van or clean it out because he cleans it out every day and he plays music while he cleans it out. And sometimes the music is a hit like you guys saw just now. And sometimes this shit is not. He's all over the place with it. It just sounds like somebody gave him a hard drive with some music on there. And it's not really going. They don't flow together, you know. And so sometimes you enjoy it and sometimes you don't. That's all. <laughs> that's it. And that's all.